Hey mamas, today we are gonna talk about how to get the most out of your grocery budget. And you're probably gonna hear my toddler running around in the background as I do this. The concept of how to do this is very simple. The actual execution requires some effort and consistency. So what I'm talking about is meal planning because when you know what you're going to make, you know how to shop accordingly and you're not getting any extras. You're just getting what you need and you're not having food waste. So that's one of the benefits of meal planning. And another benefit is you know what's for dinner. There's not the, okay, now it's five o'clock and I need to figure out what I'm gonna make for dinner. You already know. And there's so much comfort that lies in that and it just takes the stress out of it. You also know that you're prepared for the week when it comes to grocery shopping for that week. You don't have to run back to the store every couple days because you realize you don't have anything to make a meal. And when you're planning your meals, you know that you're having healthy foods. You are planning ahead to make sure that you're eating well and your family is eating well and you don't end up snacking on things that aren't very good for you because it's just there and you're just so hungry and can't even wait to make dinner. So meal planning is wonderful for your finances and your health. And so we're gonna go into some tips on how to do this. As with any new goal, it's best to keep realistic expectations and don't jump in with two feet if you're not ready. So start just by planning dinner and just plan a few dinners a week because one meal could actually cover you for two nights anyway. But this is also a way not to overwhelm yourself. So as you get more comfortable with planning those, say three dinners, then you can move into the rest of the week and you can move into lunch and breakfast. For me, breakfast is easy. I have a protein shake every morning. And I'll actually link that in the description of this video as well. So next, as far as budget, like work with what you have and try to build off of inexpensive items. So things like rice and beans and veggies and pasta. I like to use spaghetti squash for pasta because if you cover it with enough sauce, it doesn't even seem like a vegetable anymore. You can trick yourself into thinking that you're eating pasta. So these different Foods are cost-effective and versatile, so they can be made into many different dishes. It's also very budget-friendly to choose proteins that can stretch across multiple meals during the week. And use your leftovers effectively. If you have leftover chicken, make that into a salad. If you have leftover veggies and grains and other things in your fridge that you don't really know what to do with, make a soup or a stew or a stir fry with that. And when you store your leftovers, make sure you're storing them in a visible spot so that you don't forget about them and they go to waste. So setting aside a few hours per week to plan what you're gonna have, do the shopping, which online groceries can help you cut that time in to practically nothing. If you're getting pantry items sent to your door and you can even get produce sent to your door and I have links for both of those in the description of this video as well. Pre-washing, pre-cooking, pre-chopping, pre-marinating, pre-portioning, this will set you up for an easy and successful week. It's just up to you to stick with it consistently because the weeks that I don't meal plan, I'm hungry, I feel like garbage because I'm not eating well, and my budget is blown. I'm spending so much more money on food because I haven't thought through what I'm going to eat. And then I get so hungry by dinner time, before dinner time, actually, I get home from work, I didn't have a proper lunch at work because I didn't plan properly. I get home, I'm starving, and then I'm not hungry for dinner and I totally screwed up the evening. And this doesn't have to be a one-time sit down and get everything done sort of thing. During the week, you can think of different meals that you're gonna want the next week and start keeping a tally of that. Write it down, write it in your planner. I do have a favorite planner that I love and I'll put that in the description of this video as well. Once you know what you're going to have for that next week, then you build your grocery list off of that and then you compare your grocery list or maybe we'll call it an ingredient list. Compare that with what you already have in your house. You might find that you don't actually need to buy that much stuff, especially if you're using the online grocery stores that I put in the description of this video, you might not even have to leave your house or wait in line anywhere. 
So that's my tip on maximizing your grocery budget. And if you need some more help budgeting and you're not even really sure what that means or maybe you just aren't really great at budgeting or you just want some more guidance, I have a guide in the description of this video that makes it not awful. <laughs> so it's the single mom's budgeting guide to build a better life. And I do hope that you find it helpful and I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you next time.